Um, I would think in, uh, he says, uh, I would think in uh, labs, temp control is very important. Um, we, he's restaurant industry, we also have trouble maintaining monitoring temp, uh, temp control. Um, any advice on how to best control or monitor that? And my right. initial thought is because while a, a thermometer is accurate, it doesn't always tell the whole truth, you know, because you open a door or close a door. How, how do you how do you best monitor it in, in your world? Well, uh, so a lab is a little bit uh, more of a controlled environment than a kitchen is. <clears throat> like, you know, there's uh, there's venting issues with, you know, anything, anytime you're, and this is where you can talk about our chemistry lab. Uh, but yeah, you, so you have, you have vent hoods that you mix stuff in and stuff. And yeah, there's always, especially here in Texas, it's it's hot outside and it pulls in outside air and and you have to worry about the air contamination and everything like that. So everything is, is enclosed pretty much in these uh, these vent hoods so, these, so they can work kind of with limited uh, air draw into it. So that helps a lot. Uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, like I said, it's a little bit more controlled than you would have in a kitchen. You wouldn't be able to have that thing, those things in a kitchen and you have a lot more heat in the kitchen than you do usually in a lab, hopefully. <laughs> if you have a lot of heat in a lab, then you're probably doing something wrong. Um, so, but yeah, yeah, uh, uh, temperature control, yeah, that's, I mean, as far as the lab goes, yeah, vent hoods and uh, proper enclosures for your, for your reactions. And uh, yeah, don't, it would be difficult to do that in the kitchen. Uh, similar, uh, though, and I, and I get the, you know, again, the, the, the risk factors are, are different um, with you.